Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the value of x. Given this equation, we have x raised to square root of x equals 10. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. Now, our goal in this question is to solve for the real value of x. So, given this equation, x raised to square root of x equals 10. Now, take note that x raised to square root of x is an increasing function, wherein this 10 is a constant. Therefore, if we grab those functions, surely we have one and only one intersection. Therefore, there is a unique solution to this equation. Now, the question is, how are we going to answer this question? Now, here's the step. First thing to do is to take the natural log on both sides. This will give us ln of x raised to square root of x equals ln of 10. Now, your question might be, why we choose ln or natural log instead of the common logarithm? We will see the purpose later on. But at this point, let's keep going and let's use some properties of natural log. If we have ln of a raised to n, it is equal to n multiplied by the ln of a. Therefore, the left-hand side of our equation can be written as square root of x multiplied by ln of x. Now, also take note that if we have a, it is equivalent to e raised to ln of a. Therefore, the square root of x can be written as e raised to ln of Also take note that square root of x can be written as x raised to 1 half. And now, let's use again the property that we used a while ago. So ln of x raised to 1 half can be written as 1 half multiplied by ln of x. Now at this point, let's switch the position of e raised to 1 half times ln of x and ln of x like this. Now what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by 1 half. So we have 1 half times ln of x multiplied by e raised to 1 half times ln of x equals 1 half times ln of 10. Now the next question is why we do that. Take note that this expression 1 half times ln of x is also the exponent of this e which is 1 half times ln of x. Now at this point, we will use some special function. If we have an equation y times e raised to y equals x, and if we get the Lambert w function on both sides, so we have Lambert w function of y times e raised to y, this will give us the value of y. So we have y equals w of x. Now, let's apply the Lambert W function on our equation. So, let's get the W on both sides. So, you have the Lambert W function of 1 half times ln of x times e raised to 1 half times ln of x equals Lambert W function of 1 half times ln of 10. Now, take note that the left-hand side of our equation is just 1 half times ln of x. Now, our goal here is to solve for the value of x. So what we're going to do is to multiply this equation by 2. So we have ln of x equals 2 times w of 1 half times ln of 10. Now to solve for the value of x, we need to convert this equation into an exponential equation. Now take note that if we have ln of a equals n, it is equivalent to a equals e raised to n. Therefore, our equation can be written as x equals e raised to 2 times w of 1 half times ln of 10. To work out the approximate value of this expression, I will use Wolfram Alpha. So just type e raised to 2 times product log parentheses ln of 10 over 2. 
By the way, Lambert W function is also known as the product logarithm. So we have product log right here. Using this online calculator, we get the value of this expression as 3.4527614 and so on and so forth. So the approximate value of this expression is just 3.45. Therefore, the value of x in this equation, x raised to square root of x equals 10, must be the exact value must be e raised to 2 times w of 1 half times ln of 10 or approximately equal to 3.45. And as always, we are done.